So some more transfer news this week and Dara Burns has joined MK Dons for an undisclosed fee and he's here for a quick chat before he heads off. Dara, congratulations. How does it feel to have signed for MK Dons? Yeah, I'm over the mill. Just that, that the deal's done now and I'm looking forward to the next journey of my career. Talk us through the last couple of weeks and how it's all come about. Yeah, it's been mad. Probably since after the international break, I knew that they were they were interested and they came to watch me against Rovers and thank God that Pat and MK Dons could come to an agreement and yeah, I'm here now. Yeah, it's something I know you've been ambitious about since you joined the club in 2018 and the fact that it's finally happened now. How does it feel? Uh, I'm over the moon. As a kid, I always said in the academy I want to get to England and I think that's a right fit for me. I'm kind of play good football and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to get going. And, uh, yeah, now Pats have been very good to me and I've enjoyed my years there but it's time for a new challenge and I can't wait to get going. Nice skill from him. Well... The turn and the spin away was, but they've given the ball straight to Dara Burns. He can shoot. Great left foot. Oh, what a goal from Dara Burns. That is a stunner on the opening night of the season. At the end of the day, I would have been looking without Pats. They gave me the opportunity to go and express myself and show people what I can do. And yeah, now MK Dons, it's everything from the stadium to, to the coaches, just to the ground, everything it just it appealed to me. and that's what I thought it was the best fit for me, so I'm delighted to be here. But now MK Dons have a great, a great big stadium, a great big pitch. I think it's the widest in the league, so that suits my game. I like to get up players, and I just hopefully can continue it over there now. Yeah, we'll talk more about MK Dons in a moment, but let's reflect on your time at St Pat's. You signed for our under 17s all the way back in 2018, which seems so long ago now. How do you look back on your over four years with the club? Uh, it's hard to sum it up. To be fair, I think I've won a trophy nearly every year. If I'm right, have we? Yeah, so 2018 you signed, in 2019 you won the Under-17 League and were involved in the early rounds of the Leinster Senior Cup. 2020 you scored the winner for the 19s in yeah. the league final against Bowles. And then 2021, the frame just behind you over your left shoulder is the FAI Cup final. So, yeah, no, as you mentioned, lots of trophies. It's been some journey. I remember walking and meeting you yourself and in the Alts and going to Pats as a 15 year old playing for the 17s. And I was excited then just to, to be able to pull on the Pats jersey. And, uh, I was delighted then with the to do the things I've done with the club and have the experience and memories I've made, I couldn't be thankful enough. Obviously, the cup final, the, probably the best day of my life. All my family there, Pats fans uh, packed around the Aviva. The time after, obviously, the celebrations, it was it was brilliant. And just to, to be signing off as a Pats boy, I'm absolutely delighted. And nothing but great memories of the club. Tempted to cross, it was a great little dummy there. And it's, it's in the net, it's a goal for St. Pats. Well... Out of nothing almost, Billy King, I think it was, that cut it back. And it's Dara Burns who comes over and celebrates in front of the Drada fans. They're not too happy with that, but he's well entitled to do it, Burns. And why wouldn't he early on? And Mick, um, not a good start for Drada United, but a really well worked goal and a great header. I came in the door and I was meant to work hard. And the coaches gave me all that time and their effort. They would be free. Everyone, everyone in the club has played a part in me journey now, obviously getting the move. And I can't thank, if I go through everyone, there wouldn't be enough time to thank everyone. So... Now just big thanks to the club and just for the younger players out there, like the platform is there, the coaches will give their time if you're willing to work hard and with hard work you, you can get big rewards and I'm just delighted. Let's look through the three full seasons of the academy first and 2019 was the under 17 league final at Richmond Park against Bohemians and uh, a really really good night and that was your first trophy with the club. Yeah, we can thank Benji for that night, chipping the keeper and all now but that was that's when I knew it was that special club. I knew I could go on and do things in the club and obviously beating Bowes. We have a good record against Bowes in the cup final, but now that's when I knew it was in Richmond, big crowd there. I knew that I had a good feeling around the club and yeah, that night was amazing. My first trophy obviously winning the under seven in the uh, League of Ireland and then everything just followed on from there really. Yeah, moved to twenty twenty in a really strange year with the lockdowns and the shorter season and COVID and everything that went with that, but it ended in the perfect way for yourself and for the team a couple of days before Christmas at the UCD Bowl, scoring the winner against Bowls again from the penalty spot. What's your memories of that night and the winner? No, oh, that's amazing. I remember stepping up to take the penalty and seeing Ben go down again in the in the box and I oh, knew, Jesus, we could be a hero here tonight and then I ended up slotting it away. And it was quite weird though because only my dad could go to the game. My mum was at home watching on the telly with my sister because obviously the COVID, one person allowed on the ground, per player, but... No, that was a special night as well, beating Bowes again is always nice, but now it was obviously down to Dublin two, 
doing the double year after year, when the winning the league, seventeenth and nineteenth, it was special. And then obviously if you have the Aviva, I'm sure we're we'll going about there, but now it was brilliant. And that night was a special night, probably one of the best moments in me Pat's career. Yeah, before we get to the Aviva and the cup final season, when you were still young enough to play in the academy, it made your first appearance for the first team at Richmond in front of probably over five thousand fans against Chelsea. I think Harry Kenny was still the manager at the time and. Um, there's a famous clip of, of a bit of skill and you're getting dragged down by one of the Chelsea players David Luiz was the captain that night and there's a, you've got a frame just out of shot here number 35 Burns and you're a, you're a young teenager skinny little kid playing against Chelsea in front of the biggest crowd you've been in front of you know picture there with Pedro that, that day was that day was special again the opportunities are there the club give you the opportunities and I couldn't actually believe it. I found out probably a week before I'm going gonna, gonna to get game time against Chelsea and it was it was mental the players I played against that day. That made to be honest, that made me hungry to go on and want more, to be around the force team and I got a great taste that day and the fans turned out in great numbers that day. And from that day on, to be fair, the fans have always got behind me and they've loved me to be fair and I've loved them and I can't be thankful enough for their support because at the end of the day the fans make the football club and, and we're blessed to have such great fans. Been a bright player when he's had opportunities this season. And speaking of bright players, here's Cochran into Dara Burns, who's going 1v1 here with Peter Cherry. Burns. He's yes! shifted over the goalkeeper. Yes! And he scored to make it 3-1 to St. Patrick's Athletic. It's that man, Dara Burns. The Pats fans are going mad. The Pats staff are going mad. The Pats players are going mad. So, bring us to last season, 2021. Second in the league, qualified for Europe. Crowds come back towards the end of the season. Before we get to the final... The semi-final against Dundalk at Richmond and the famous chip. Ah, special, special. To be fair, I remember my mates lifting me up on the pitch in the centre circle and all. It was crazy. It was a, uh, yeah, like, we're going to the Aviva. I remember going in and watch, obviously watch Ireland every time they're at home. And to know that you basically secured it for the lads. The lads wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad before the game. And we, we had a little chat say, let's go and make history here. But... Now going to the Aviva and that, that night was a special night. Scoring that goal, probably me, one of my favourite goals in the patch jersey. Uh, family there, it was amazing. What we done that season, it was, went down in the history books and I'm just, I'm absolutely buzzing to play the part in it. And then moves to the cup final, extra time and penalties win over Bowes, Chris scores the goal and then Bowes equalise and all of a sudden it's it's penals and the penalty shootout is a winning penalty shootout and, and the moments that will live for Ever with St. Pat's people? No, it's it's mad. It's uh, when I see a gig, gig go boy, one of their players and sticking in the back of the net, I'm thinking, that's it, game over, I won the FAI Cup. And then obviously they scored, it was, it was heartbreak, I think, and is it going to be our day? But it goes in the extra time when your legs are gone, you're feeling tired, it's the end of the season, and it goes down to penalties, which is pot luck. And thankfully, the luck was with us on the day. I remember all the boys stepping up fair play and we wanted to step up but I think Robbie Benson wanted the fifth penalty to win it so he took it off me but no man it, it was it was fantastic and it's probably the best day of my life that was unbelievable and something that will live with me forever definitely that was a brilliant night and then it rolls on to this season and we're kind of halfway through now with a new manager and Tim Clancy John Daly has joined Alan and, and Sean and PJ and Chris and stuff on the coaching staff and um, again, it's it's been a really good first half of the season for you, and and you know there has been interest in you, and, and clubs have been watching you, and so if you've been called up to the Irish Twenty Ones for the first time, and um, it's been a really good five six months. Yeah, now Tim and Tim and Dindy have been fantastic with me. Obviously, I think it was it was good that uh, they looked after me this season. Obviously, because it was such a big season last year, but they put the arm around me and just says, "Here, go again this year, and just show people what you can do." So they have they've been brilliant with me. I have a great relationship with both of them. I'm very thankful for both of them and the part they played with me. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a good season. I think halfway through, I think I think there's a lot more to come from the team. I think the fans will get get behind the team, and why not? Why can't the lads go on another fantastic run? And who knows what can happen at the end of the season? Yeah, you mentioned the fans getting behind the team, and news kind of broke on Thursday of of last week that it looked like a move might happen, and you weren't involved in the matchday squad on Friday in the, the win against Drada but you were at the game and some great pictures and videos of you in the Mangar Plus main stand with the SEI, the Shed and Invincibles and the kids after the game taking selfies and stuff and even though at that time we couldn't announce anything because there were still things to do in terms of completing the deal it was a nice way for you to say goodbye personally to a lot of the fans that love you. 
it was always gonna go in. That that's probably me la that was my last time in Richmond, obviously. I'm so in now and that 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 was a great memory. I think I didn't get to watch the four half to be honest with you, I was just signing autographs and taking pictures but I was happy to do so. The fans have got behind me from the day I walked in the door and you know, it was time to show a, a bit of time and, and uh, be be good back to them because they were they were brilliant at me. And then being in being in with being in with all the lads and holding holding the holding the flare and 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 the drum getting the drum gone was was brilliant. I know there's a bit of a tradition in Pats. I think Keith Fatty done it last time, and Giff Forrester has done it and all before they went away. So you know, I, I was uh, delighted to, to get that show to be part of that. But now at the end of the day, I walked into the academy, went into all the games with me dad. He was just sit behind the goal and I wanted to be there one day. And I, I was a, I was a Pats fan, and you know what? Uh, why not? Why not end it with, with being with everyone and uh, supporting the lads on the pitch? You got the opportunity to say goodbye to the staff and the players in the dressing room after the match as well, which I'm sure was nice because even though you've been you've been hoping to go away for a few years, things kind of moved quite quickly over the last week, so it was nice to be able to jump in and say goodbye to them personally. Yeah, no, and a big shout out to Bermo, obviously the, the skipper of the club. He he's been brilliant with me, and I think all the all the young lads will say the same. He's he's a top top lad and, and a great pro and somebody you want to learn from, and. We had a we had a special connection. He always would have put the shoulder off me, and gave me the best advice as as he could. And when he talks, you listen. He's been in the game a long time, and he was fantastic with me. And just as saying goodbye to all the lads in the dressing room for the last time, it was it was a it was a weird moment because you were with them there last week and they're gone this week. But that's football, I suppose. And now I, I will miss Pat's definitely. But uh, I just want to go on now and see where I can get it and challenge myself and uh, hopefully a good. A, a good career you can have over across the water and again I'd be very thankful for Pats yeah and I'm sure you were you were kind of emotional saying goodbye to the lads and stuff. but you'll be back to Richmond I'm sure when you can to watch games just lastly the the trophies and, and stuff is great and it's been a really successful few years on the pitch but the relationship you've built off the pitch with you know the people that work in the club the teammates the supporters the young fans like that day at the summer camp during the the summer there could have been the Easter camp. Maybe the, yeah. the the kids like absolutely love you. Even last night we couldn't get you out of the ground for all the selfies and autographs. One child even asked you, "Would you sign his face?" <laughs> so that was very funny. And like that for you, I'm sure is lovely to know that so many people, whether they be old supporters, older or younger supporters, they they've formed a connection with you, which certainly I don't think you'll ever forget. No, definitely not. And I was I was in the pub outside the ground obviously before the game saying my goodbyes. And to be fair, the club had been unbelievable to me. Everyone, every single person in the club, especially the fans. And now I've said a lot about the fans. The fans have been fantastic. And I don't know, we just seemed to hit it off from the start. And the club, the minute I walked in the door, I knew. I knew I was at the right place. But now it's been it's been some journey. And uh, obviously winning the, winning the FAO Cup last year kind of sealed it for me. I was, I was happy enough. And they get the move now. I'm, I'm absolutely delighted. So now a big thanks to everyone at the club. And I, again, I can't thank everyone enough. Yeah, 61 appearances in total. Thanks to John Owens Dodge for the stats. 40 starts, 21 a sub, 11 goals in total, including three goals in the FAI Cup and many assists as well. I know you love an assist as much yeah, as a goal as well. So let's finish on on the next part of your career, Dara. And how will things work for you now? You'll jump into MK Dons. You have ha, had your medical and you met the squad in Dublin or in Ireland, certainly over the weekend. But you'll jump into pre-season and try and hit the ground running, of course, for a big season in League One. Yeah, met the lads on Thursday. Obviously, they were in Ireland for pre-season, so that was good to meet them before I went over. But now I have a couple of games coming up now. Training, training's tough. Looking forward to getting more days under my belt and. You know, it's just another part of my journey, and uh, I'm just buzzing to get going. It's a, a great opportunity for me, and obviously, thanks to MK Dons, they've shown their trust in me, obviously, to sign me. So, I hope I can uh, have a good relationship with the MK Dons fans, just as I did with the Pats fans, and uh, let's see where it takes us. And lots of hard work ahead. Of course, yeah, as usual. Put the head down and see where it gets me. Darrell, well done. Congratulations. Thanks for sitting down. Thanks for all your hard work and efforts for St. Pats, and we're looking forward to following your journey. Well done. Thanks very much, Shay.